Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to use trig functions in Excel. I have a spreadsheet already here and uh, what I have is the um, angles in degrees from 0 to 360 by increments of uh, 15. And I'm just going to blow up a little bit here. And um, the important thing to know with the trig functions in Excel is that they want to have the angles in radians because that's more standard, that's more um, you know, more common in a lot of times in, in trig, depending on the application and the field you're in. Um, so to change an angle from degrees to radians, all you do is you say um, equals the angle in degrees times pi, and you don't have to enter in 3.14159. Uh, Excel actually has a function, and it's nothing more than pi, and then open parentheses, close parentheses, it has no argument, and then divided by 180. So there we go, zero degrees is zero radians, and then we take that formula and put our cursor at the bottom right and drag it down, and you can see, and let me just make a few less significant digits. Uh, there we go, that's probably enough. And we'll just scroll it down until we get to uh, 360, and let's just do some checks here. Um, 180, is the, there we go, that's pi. 180 degrees is pi radians. 360 degrees is two pi radians, so the, everything seems right. And then to enter in the trig functions, it's just, in, they're just as I wrote here in the column headings, the sine is just equal to SIN, and then the number in radians, and the cosine is COS, and the number in radians, and the tangent is equals TAN, and the number in radians. Okay, and then we just select those three uh, cells and we just drag them down and it should copy the formulas down into all the way from zero to 360. And once again, I'm gonna reduce the number of significant digits because that's too many. Now, notice something interesting. At 90 degrees, the tangent is a, uh, it, it doesn't like the number, but that's because the tangent is equal to the sine divided by the cosine, and the cosine is zero, so it's, a, it's dividing by a, a zero number, um, so it's, it's infinite, basically. Um, so it's, it's not wrong, it's just, uh, it's just a, an undefined number. Um, so you can do the same thing with, uh, with all the other trig functions, the, um, the, 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 the uh, secant and the cosecant and the inverse uh, trig functions and hyperbolic sine functions, all the different trig, trig functions are, are in Excel, and uh, feel free to uh, experiment on your, own, on your own. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted, and today I showed you how to use trig functions in Excel. Thank you for watching.